What do we look at first? Asmon first. Let's hear if he is as based as he usually is. Hi guys, it's me again. I figured I'd make a video and talk about this because I'm sick of seeing it on Twitter. There is this constant moral battleground going on between Kick, that is owned by a gambling company, and Twitch, which is owned by Amazon. That's and there, what two else parties to of people cannot stop fighting with each other about which one is worse. And I am losing my fucking mind over this. I'm going insane listening to these people fight with each other about Agreed. which one is worse because everybody knows they're both bad. Why are people continuously trying to grovel for the approval of, in some cases, their own competitors and also other viewers that don't even watch them? What are you fucking doing? What are you sitting here trying to go on Twitter and, you know, well, maybe if I type this, people will see that I'm a good person. Who gives a fuck if somebody thinks you're a good person? What the hell is wrong with you? What are you doing with your life? Just go and stream on the website and be happy. Oh my god, I'm losing my mind. Because you have these people there we go. that are spending all of their time trying to earn the approval of people that don't like them. And I think this is the real problem. And Asmon with the based takes always. We know who he's aiming for. Let's not even get into the conversation about no ethical consumption under capitalism, because of course these people are tapping away on their smartphone made by third world slaves that get locked inside of a warehouse so they have to work 18 hours a day with nets across the different floors in the, in the, in the building so they don't jump down the floors and kill themselves because that would be a loss of revenue. And no, 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 let's not talk about that at all. Let's not talk about how Amazon has, uh, you know, people that are working in, uh, you know, these conditions where they're pissing into bottles so they don't lose points on their performance review. Let's Jesus. not talk about how gambling and all this other stuff is, uh, is negatively affecting people. Or people are on their computers using microchips that are being, you know, like obviously uh, that are using uh, different types of components that are also used with um, unethical third world labor. And even here, if you're in the US, uh, we have lots of very, very cheap produce and sometimes cheap labor due to the fact that a lot of the people that are making that produce and doing that labor are, of course, illegal and therefore it is easier to take advantage of them but don't 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 worry about any of that the real problem here is uh is is kick and twitch and mm. i i really find it to be exhausting and i think that it's very um i, I think it's very mentally unhealthy because the truth is that obviously everybody here and um you know the truth is that uh I, you know, what I'm saying here is it's irrefutable that a lot of these things are the things that we own, like our shirts, our clothes, our uh, computers, a lot of our luxuries in life are paid for with the blood, sweat, and... Too much whataboutism. This isn't whataboutism. He's saying his point is that has nothing to do with the platforms. That's what he's trying to say. He's going away from all about... Uh, what about if steak advertises themselves for kick or what about what if, what about now what about the money that steak gives to kick from that they get from gambling or uh, on the other side what about all the slave labor uh, Amazon is using and then giving money to twitch like that's the whole point of what he's saying fuck all of that there's immoral things happening everywhere tears of third party people uh, sorry, not third party, uh, third world people. And um, guess what? Nobody's throwing them away. So what are we talking about? Why are we, why are we trying to swab the decks on the Titanic whenever we're clearly losing the moral battle? Everybody is losing the moral battle. And yes, maybe some things are worse than others slightly, but does it really matter whether something is like a 71 or 73? But I guess it's like still the in the context of, of the like power and companies so. being I, I this really streaming. I really don't think it's that big of a this, deal. Yes. And, and I think this constant groveling for the he like to say the affirmation oh, wow. of the internet as a whole is such an un... Yes, and his whole point was we're all, if we're all trying to take the moral fucking high ground, we're all losing because we're sitting here with these phones. His point is the opposite of your, what you're saying. 
healthy thing to do. And I see everybody doing it nowadays, and it is so exhausting. Why can't you just take the fucking money and say, yeah, I took the money, maybe some people are going to gamble, or you know, I don't really give a fuck about the unions and Amazon. Thank you for the gift, Why are people so Thank you so much for the gift, what they really think? Why are people so afraid to state the obvious? Why are people so worried about the opinions of people that don't even like them? It's so weird to me, and I don't understand it at all, and I don't think that I ever will, because the truth is that, this is the way that I look at things, is that you have to be your own North Star. You have to, you know, be the person that makes the decisions that you think are right for you, right for your family, and right for the people that you care about, and you have to move towards that in one direction without worrying about what some random person on Twitter with an anime profile picture thinks of you. Because if you don't do that, you're going to be trapped. And think about this, guys. If you're not against if you're against what I'm saying right now, think about how bad it would be if you had to be at the whims and wishes of every single person that had a... Listen, I care a little bit about what our friend from Finland, the writer's one, thinks of me. The guy with the anime profile picture on Twitter. On He's a nice media. dude. Nothing would ever happen. <laughs> because everybody disagrees on everything and the only thing that holds us together is some sense of not giving a fuck about each other because you can go and do your thing i'm gonna go and do my thing and we can agree to not kill each other over that difference and i think that's a great thing in society i think it's really what fundamentally society is built off of and some of these like foundational ideas are just discarded because people on the internet are so privileged and uh, so bored with their own lives that they look for different ground to retread and different battles to fight again to give their lives meaning because apparently, uh, you know, some menial job that they have or maybe they don't have a job and they're just looking for some meaning in their life because they feel like they don't have any. And so the meaning that they find is Normal, uh, latching is not. on to a, uh, mm -hmm. a person no, who yeah, online people makes tend funny to faces agree with. and says funny things while playing video games well, being one of the most to create a purity no, test for this people person to exist. To True. Uh, what a I weird agreed. way to live. What a, what a sad way to live. I, I don't understand this. And so this is the way that I see it, okay? Obviously, Stake has kick as a loss leader for gambling. You know it, I know it, everybody knows it. There are a lot of people that broadcast on Kick, and they don't advertise gambling, and good for them. I don't think they're really doing anything wrong. Uh, it's up to them, and obviously they have to do what's right for them and their family and make money. Uh, money is very important because without it, you die. On Twitch, obviously Amazon is a very bad company. Uh, they've done very bad things, but however, they will get you underwear to your house 30 minutes after you order it, so are you really going to cancel Amazon Prime? So, it's not that bad after all, is it? And, you know, <laughs> the union things where they're making fake accounts to pretend like they don't want unions, ah, not necessarily the best thing to do. And, you know, making people piss in bottles, and I think there was an issue where, like, one of the employees had to stay inside of a building whenever there's a tornado, and then the tornado killed them, right? And it's just... Ooh, not super good, but at the end of the day, we're not going to be canceling Amazon Prime because they've got some of our favorite movies on there. What are we going to stop watching the movies for? Who cares? <laughs> Holy fuck, guys. <laughs> stop trying to try to live your life according to some crazy ideal that is just a, it, it's a fabrication in your mind because it's just thank it, you. It, it's constructed and you look at how many other problems there are in the world and how many problems you contribute to simply by existing, I, I think that you'll realize that, um, you know, you're already into a very, very dark gray area. And I think that it doesn't really matter whether you're streaming on Kick or whether you're streaming on Twitch, uh, you are contributing towards something that is negative. And the truth is that the best thing that you can do is try to be a uh, force against that and do what you think is the right thing and to not worry about what other people are doing. I love that, Simon. I think there's just so much nowadays where people are so worried about what other people think of them. Guess what? It doesn't fucking matter. Because the only thing that matters if you're a content creator is the relationship that you have with your audience. Keep that clean, keep that straight, and everything else is going to fall right into place. So that's my opinion, that's my advice, or anything like that. And if you're one of these people that's on Twitter, that's following this issue, that desperately wants your opinion or your feelings to be heard, I'm, I'm just smart. realize that even if somebody listens to you, it doesn't matter. Do something more productive with your life.
try to do something that makes you happy. Imagine that. Anyway, guys, that's about all I've got. I just figured I'd make a video about this because I've just seen it so often, and it's very annoying to me. Overall, stream on Kick, stream on Twitch, stream on Rumble, stream on YouTube, stream wherever the fuck you want. But don't go and try to beg people for their approval. And Can also I, don't Aiden is under was not mention you during the Tate interview. Is he doing it? Is he doing a Tate interview? He can't mention me, please, for the fucking love of God, not do the. I don't want to be involved with any of that. Uh, I can train him. F <laughs> a witch hunt, a crusade against them, uh, because they're not doing. I think what tomorrow they should be doing. What an unhealthy, weird, pathetic world that we're living in. Hopefully, it's over soon. Not the world, just the current one. So, guys, that's about all I've got. Listen. I'm trying to sit there up in my uh, fucking uh, whatever we should call it here up in Norway far into the woods where no one can find me or, or see me at all just so I can have some peace and when it comes to Andrew Tate and all of that uh, bullshit political talk back and forth I'm just trying to s sit on the fence be there I can talk to Azan because I can have good relations to him, even though I fucking disagree with his takes. I can talk to Aiden, even though I've seen him say a lot of bullshit in the past as well. Have a good relationship to that guy. I can talk to Train. I can talk to Miskiff. Because I don't... I don't want to bullshit. And when they have issues between each other... I step away. They can uh, argue however the fuck they want. But I can still be nice to both uh, both sides. Right? I don't need to mix in to to whatever hatred they have to uh, towards each other. <sighs> On the fence with popcorn, correct. Same as this, XQC versus Azan and uh, Pokemon. Well, I can make some small comments, and I have to say I disagree with uh, some of the takes that uh, Poke had. I don't see her as any bad person or anything. Like she, she might have taken it a little bit too far a few times. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Peace. And, but I have to say, I always agree with Asmon. He is the goat. Mm -hmm.